Hey guys, I'm Chris Rodriguez, and today I'm going to show you how to string a kendama. So the items you're going to need to restring your kendama are a spike, serrato, tama, one string, one bead, and a string tool. Now all of these items can be found in a kendama coach string pack, but if you don't have a string pack or a string tool, dental floss can be used as a good alternative for the string tool. To use a string tool, simply thread one side of the string through the hole and grab the other end of that string and you want to pinch at the base of the string tool. Then, simply use the tip of the string tool and place it through any of the holes on the kendama. And when you see the string tool appear on the other side, pull it and the string should pull through. To use a piece of floss, grab one piece and fold it in half. Then, use both the ends and place it through any hole in the canal. Once you have done so, and you can see the two pieces coming out on the other side, place the string inside the hole and pinch the base. Then, grab the other two ends and pull, just like you did with the string tool, and the string should pull through. All right, so let's get started. To start, grab your string and your string tool and thread it through the big hole on the spike. Once you have the string pulled through, tie a knot on the big hole in the spike. The knot you're tying is just going to be a simple overhand. Once you've done that, pull on the string until the knot fits inside that big hole side, just like so. Next, we're going to be stringing the serrato. Now for the serrato, the big cup should always be facing on the inside. So if you're right-handed, big cup should face to your left. And if you're left-handed, big cup should face to your right. So I'm right-handed, so today we're gonna be stringing it that way. So big cup should be facing on the left. Now whenever you do string through the, string, uh, the serrato, you're going to string down into that string hole on the bottom, not through the top. So. With big cup facing the left, I'm gonna grab my string and string tool again, and I'm going to place the string tool down into that string hole on the bottom. And then pull it through. And you have it through the serrato. Now next, as you're fitting the cups onto the spike, you wanna pull on the string on the outside end so that there is no slack on the inside of that serrato as you're pushing the cup down. Also, if you turn the cup slightly as you're pushing it down, you can usually fit that knot inside the serrato so that it is not visible, just like so. So again, pull in the string, turn the cup slightly, and you can fit that knot right inside there, and it should fit perfect. And once you get everything on, you kind of want to pull on this string to make sure that there's no slack, in, or no slack inside the slip. So next, we're going to string it through the top. Now for the tama, you string it just a little bit different. So grab your string tool again, and your string. You're going to place the string tool and thread it inside that tama hole. But instead of pulling it all the way through, just thread it until there's a little bit of the string through, but not all the way. So just like so. See how there's a little bit of string hanging out and I still have the string tool coming out on this side. Then place the bead on the end of the string tool but put your right hand right where it comes out of the string hole so the bead doesn't actually go inside of the top. Just like so. And then grab the bead with your right hand and grab the string tool and you should be able to pull through all in one motion. Just like that. Now for the end, we're going to teach you how to tie a slip knot on the end of your kendama. The key to tying a slip knot is hold the string in your hand with your right hand on one tip and your left hand on one tip. Move your finger down a little bit down the string and then grab the left side and overlap it over that string so that the loop comes on the top and the right side comes out on the bottom. 
then pinch right there at that loop and create another loop with your left hand. Next, place that loop inside of the loop you already created. Then, with your right hand, grab the loop you placed inside the loop, and with your left hand, grab both ends of the string and pull. And in doing so, you've created a slip knot. And to break that slip knot, just grab either end of the string and pull. Awesome. So to finish off this kunama, let's tie a slip knot at the end. So we're gonna do it just like I explained. Overlap the string so that this string comes out to the right and your left string is on top. Then, from the bottom, create another loop, put that through, grab the loop with your right hand, grab the other two strings with your left, and pull. And that is how you string a kendama. If you are looking for any of the pieces that we've used today to string this kendama, you can find them all in a kendamaco string pack at www.kendamaco.com. My name is Chris Rodriguez. Dama on.